In this question, we're given a cone, we're given the plan of a cone, and what we're asked to do is place a sphere which is touching the side of the cone. Now we'll put it touching here on the right hand side. And what it is, the only thing we're told about the sphere in this case is it's radius 30. It's touching the ground and it's also touching the side of the cone. Now, so the first thing we have to figure out is where the centre point is in order to draw it. So, what height is the centre point? Up 30. So what we do in this question here is, from our XY line, measure up 30 over here on the side of the drawing. Now, for demonstration purposes, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw this line relatively heavy, so that you can see this line. We know the centre point is on this line. Okay, we don't exactly know where. So what we have to do is, we have to figure out where it is. So to figure out where it is, for example, if I was to guess a centre point, I'd guess a centre point here, I'd guess a centre point here, I'd guess a centre point here. Now, this would be a centre point for a circle radius 4. What I'm doing here is I'm coming up 4, and from the side of the cone I'm coming out 4. What I'm doing here, I'd say 8 mil out, 8 mil up, 8 mil out. Then maybe 15 mil, out 15 mil. Now, a lot of this is guesswork, so there must be a more accurate way of doing this. Now, if I was to join all them points together, what is it creating, or what's it doing? It's not 45 degrees. What's it doing to the side of the cone and the ground? It's bisecting the angle. So it's bisecting the angle between the side of the cone and the ground. So if we were to draw the bisecting line, we would find every single centre point that touches the ground and touches the side of the cone. So to answer this question, we set our compass to any size starting off with to bisect the angle. So we'll set it large enough now. So we draw an arc here. And then from this point here, swing an arc. And from this point, swing an arc. Where they cross over, that's a point on the bisecting line for the angle. So we join it back to the centre of the angle. We draw this line in heavy. And what we've now found is, the centre point. So the centre point is where this bisecting line intersects with the line that's up 30. Now, so to set our compass to 30, so from this centre point then, what we're going to do is draw our circle, and this circle can be drawn in heavy. Now, when we're doing this, there's a couple of key things that has to happen. So the key things that have to happen is, this circle touches the ground. It touches the side of the cone. It has to touch. But what it cannot do is go inside the cone or below the ground. So that's how we know we've it done accurately. Now to draw it in plan, what we do, we bring our centre point straight down because we know where it is. And how do we find where it is in plan? Well, we're going to bring it straight over from the centre line. And the reason we bring it straight over from the centre line, we know it's touching the side of the cone. The side of the cone is the centre line in plan. So we set our compass in, we leave it set at 30, and we draw our circle in plan. Now, there is one thing that has to happen in plan then. What has to happen in plan? In this question, this bottom of 
the cone has to be dotted. Has to be dotted because it's hidden by the sphere. So if we put this in dotted now, if I draw this in heavy, that section of the cone is blocked by the sphere. 